the, we even know we even know why um, one group gets Alzheimer's and one doesn't. The, the, there's a, and we we know why the African Americans accumulate so much more lead than the Caucasians. Is that there's a gene in the intestine that particularly likes the divalent metal. You know, it'd be fine if you were in some place where it wasn't contaminated, mm. but it doesn't work out if you got lead exhaust and lead paint and silica fluorides in the water. The, and the Hispanics have one of those genes, and the Caucasians don't have any of them. So we're more resistant to it, probably because all the babies that couldn't take lead died about 200 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've got to weed out the population. Then, then there, are, there are geneticists that think that that's the way to go. Oh, just kill off those weak babies that can't take that, that mercury and fluoride like the rest of the kids. But that's just stupid, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. it's, what you do is you clean up the environment so you don't have the mercury and fluoride killing off the kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, APOE is how your body is treats the, the, there's a gene, it's called a housekeeping gene, and basically, uh, I, I'm, I'm working on the animations, a picture of a, a guy named Gene, and he's got a broom, <laughs> and he goes around, and the, the APOE 2, that broom has two hooks on it to grab mercury, and it's a one-way train out of, out of that brain, and so you can, you can sit on a vat of mercury, you can be a dentist, you can grind on those fillings, it doesn't bother you a bit. Because the, that APOE2 is a good housekeeper. It, it keeps taking the mercury out of the brain. Hmm. It's supposed to deal with another molecule, it's an antioxidant cholesterol. But it, it'll take mercury first. And so if the cholesterol starts to build up, body says, yeah, get, you guys get over there and clean that up. And so it'll clean it up. The APOE3 is, is halfway. It has one attachment for mercury, and the rest it'll do the cholesterol. And then APO4, the people that get Alzheimer's at age 50, mm -hmm. It does a fine job on cholesterol, but it doesn't take any mercury. Mm -hmm. So there's no other excretion mechanism we know of for okay. mercury from the brain. In the FDA hearings in 2006, a guy about your age was there with his wife. And he was leading her around like a little puppy dog because she wasn't sure where she was. Mm -hmm. And she had early onset Alzheimer's. And she was very pleasant, confused. And she'd say, why are we here? Where are we? Mm -hmm. And she didn't come to 2010. She's died. Early onset Alzheimer's. And he said, she's an APO44. Her brain doesn't remove mercury. Hmm. And there's 15% of the population just exactly like that. And what do they get? They get Parkinson's, ALS, MS, like you with Alzheimer's, like you wouldn't believe. Mm -hmm. It's inappropriate to put, use a material that leaks mercury in the mouths of human beings. Unethical, immoral. 